Hey guys, Rock again. Welcome to another video. So today is sort of an, another unboxing. I know people are getting sick of these, but tough luck. I like doing them. Bit of background. This is one of my favourite Amiga games. Beneath the Steel Sky. It's a point and click adventure. Set in a sort of dystopian, futuristic, post-apocalyptic type city. Um, highly recommend playing it. It's available on GOG and stuff. There's some really cool sort of fascist imagery. It's... It's also on 11 floppy disks. Unfortunately, this is not my original copy. I rebought this one on eBay about, I don't know, eight years ago. Still got the warranty card. The manual that somebody's written in pen. And this. This is a comic book. Now, my one had all this, but it also had the comic book that was given away in the front of Amiga format, which I wish I still had, as a sort of a promo. I think it was more about the size, but like that comic book. Really cool. So that's one of my favourite Amiga games. Now, a few years ago, now you start a sequel was coming, Beyond the Steel Sky, and it's out on Steam. And I thought, no, I want it on physical, so... When I saw it was available to order, I thought, oh, I'm going to have that. Then I saw there was a collector's edition. I'm not really... I don't normally buy them, because they're usually a lot of bloody money. Um, I'm actually going to look up now how much I spent on it, because it's. I know it was a lot, and I had it pre-ordered for a long time. I've also had this for quite a considerable amount of period of time. Here we go. Order details. So I ordered it in September and I got it in December of 2021. Um, this is Beyond a Steel Sky. Utopia edition. This was a hundred and twenty nine pound ninety nine P. So I'm going to unbox it because I have never seen the inside of this. And it's been sitting for a while. In fact, it sat in the container it came in for a while, and then I Okay, so that's it out of its box. So, on the back here, we've got Utopia Edition. Includes Collector Edition box, the game, which is weird because it's using PS4 artwork on an Xbox One box. Hologram Lamp. Steelbook. Premium stickers. Holo cards. Enamel pin. Stickers. Art book. Original game soundtrack. In brackets. Digital. Even though that looks like it was a CD and exchangeable dog tags, keychain necklace. Right. Okay. Just out of interest, I'm going to load up CEX, which is like our a pawn shop if you're not familiar with it, and see what they would give me if I traded this in. They don't have a code for it. Well, let's see if it's what it's selling for on the eBay's. Just out of interest. Well, there's probably a levity bazillion of these because that's what happens now. People just buy them and just dump them on eBay and then there's one at 145. So unless somebody got that cheap. Right. So how does this open or does it slide? Looks like it slides. Oh, it slides. This is brilliant television, I know. Right, the slip cover comes off. We're left with this outer box, which has. Well, that's kind of cool. That's really kind of cool. We've got Steel Sky. Beyond the Steel Sky. I like that. Right, so does this come up? Oh, and this, this slides up. 
and then the first thing we see is the steel book. So I'm expecting the game to be in the steel book. It's not, but there is some artwork in it that I do like. All right, so. Okay, here we go. Open on the bomb. I'll just show it as it comes out. Beneath the steel sky. Oh, I like that. That's a keyring. Beneath the steel sky dog tags. I know nobody will ever wear that. You know what? Well, you never know. I never say never because people are just people are people. The game. So brilliant. So I've got oh, not only have I got the really cool thing here, I've got the actual. We'll save this to last because I'm assuming it's the hologram thing. And I'll need to find. Right. Oh. Hi. Little pin. I don't know if that's Joey. Joey was your little robot in the first game. Um, I'm assuming that is Joey. I uh, don't know how you can see that. Is that Joey? Could be. It certainly looks a bit like Joey. Right. So, a few things here. This on the back has the soundtrack code, which I will redeem forthwith. That to me looks like an Xbox code. I don't know how that will work. Stickers. We've got this sticker pack. Day ones. I don't know if they're any good. We've got these two. Are these, are these the premium stickers? Let's. What's this one? These are so we've got the sticker that you've just seen, and these are the two pre XXL premium stickers. We've got a boy coming out of uh, sewer grate, and what looks like something from Portal Two. These will be the art cards. We've got. Uh, Beyond a Steel Sky, oh sorry, Beyond a Steel Sky, Union City. Live Life at the Bottom. Hate Germs, Love Citizens. What's that say? Be Engineered for Safety. Some kind of bio bug. Dirty, Smelly, Dangerous. Yes, that's the gap. Oh, the gap is um, the Wasteland. With a little bit of junk. Sparkles. Day or night, it's a treat you deserve beyond the steel skin. Public places in the game. Right. We'll move on to the obligatory art book. Not hardback. Um, just flicking through it. Some artist conceptual drawings here. So but this is a virtual and 3D ver this one's a 3 That one is the 3D virtual environment. Uh, you go into a spoiler for the game for the 30 year old game. Art of Beyond the Steel Sky, edited by some of the other acknowledgements. Well, 2001 copyrights looks. Again, that picture on the back there. That makes it look like a hardback. I don't know if, uh, to me, both the soundtrack and this. The soundtrack was meant to be physical and the art book was meant to be hardbacked. Right. The piece de resistance. I'll get my trusty Stanley knife with folding blade.
Right, I know exactly what this is. Um, these are these. You've probably seen them about before. They're generic 3D lamps. Although this one has sort of a crackle interface, a crackle. Um, they can be powered by either three AA batteries or USB power. I wonder if I've got any power in my USB power bank. Let's see if there's any enough power to power up here. Or if cut. And what you do with them is you put them in. That the base lights up like that. That's kind of cool. Sometimes there's an adjustment. Oh, there we go. There we can change it by pushing the power button. This is like being painted with like crackle effect paint. And then what you do is in the top, you insert the 3D hologram, which is it's still got stuck on it. Oh, that is joy. So that goes in the top. My, my son's got one of these with um, the Death Star on it. It's kind of cool. And this doesn't really fit very well. <laughs> Even with the peel on. There we go. Beyond the steel sky and then at night it lights up. That's kind of cool. I don't know if my nostalgia for Beneath a Steel Sky That is way too tight. I'm not going to make some dirty joke there. I don't know if my nostalgia for Beyond the Steel Sky got the better of me there. For Beneath a Steel Sky I should say. I mean that's just all generic stuff that if I print it up. Is it worth £130? Probably not. Um, while you're here, and I'm going to bore you to death, I'm going to redeem that. I'm going to see if that is a redeemer code for Microsoft. I've interested because I've never redeemed a. It certainly looks like one. Death. Uh, five. I mean, there are no instructions. Oh. I didn't take in right there. There are no... There are no redeem instructions at all, as far as I can see. I also have a pet hate. I don't think this is an Xbox code. It's not, um, that's a bit pants to be honest. I mean, let's, maybe I'm missing something in the art book here. Let's have a quick look. That's not an Xbox code. There's nothing in the art. Am I, is it just rev, is it revolutions on is it revolutions on site? Oh, they're all gone. I shouldn't have gone here. They're now offering official merch for Broken Sword and Beyond the Steel Sky. Aha. Redeem your Beyond the Steel Sky Steelbook and Utopia Edition OST. Redeem here. Oh, please enter your code. This is... That's not well communicated, guys. Again, that says to me this was just thrown in at the last second because they couldn't get something printed for the price point. How does it work? So you go to the site and you basically download it. I 
have and it's given me 24 hours to download the content i am downloading it now it's a zip file in the zip file there's a folder mp3s soundtracks mp3 audio let me just bring one up another mp3 so not even flack which i don't can't really talk so while I'm on their site, let's just have a little mulesy on round. Um, merch. You can get a beneath. Oh, there's Beyond the Steel Sky and Beneath the Steel Sky T-shirts. They are twenty three pounds. That's well, yeah, whatever. That's, that's not good. So was this? I mean, really, I should have just bought that. And I probably, at some point, I wouldn't be able to buy that on eBay. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Was that worth 130 quid? This is the reason I don't buy these things. Oh, when I do, I buy them years later for Nick for peanuts. But this is a bit about the soundtrack and the art book, to be honest. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. I mean, take care. Bye-bye.